Hello Christchurch. It's very early in the morning. If I'm looking a bit sleepy, there's no wonder. It's just after 3.30 this morning and um, I was unable to sleep and I just felt that God has given me a word uh, for you all. It's not a word for the church. It's a very uh, personal word and it challenges my heart. And I just sense that Father is saying, I am calling you in this season to an upgrade in your intimacy with me. I'm calling you to know me at a new level, to know me in the secret place, to know me in a way that you've not known me before. Now, this is nothing to do with head knowledge, my child. It's nothing to do with your education. It's nothing to do uh, with dyslexia. It's nothing to do with how much you know the Bible, how much you know about me. It is to know me in the biblical sense. Adam and Eve knew each other and they bore children. That was the intimacy. That was the fruit of their intimacy that they bore children. And it's that knowing that I am calling you to in this season. This will bring revelation to your heart. It will bring revelation that you have never uh, experienced before. It will bring revelation that will bear fruit in your life. It's that intimacy that Moses knew of old, that face-to-face -face intimacy, that closeness, uh, that um, enabling to follow me. This is what eternal life is about. Eternal life is to know me and I have implanted that within you. So in this season, you are able to know me in deeper ways and uh, yeah, I'm calling you to this. I am offering this to you. This is a free gift, my child. Come to me in the secret place to know me. It's not about what you know in your head. It's what you experience in your heart of your loving Heavenly Father. So I hope that encourages you. I just, I just want to press in to get to know God better, you know. I've been following God for um, a number of years now, uh, more years than a number of you have been alive. Um, and there's so much more to know of him, there's so much more to know of his love. And I just feel that this season we need to press in to know him. And uh, yeah, let's, let's do that together, but individually. Hello Christchurch is now a more reasonable hour of the day and I've just read Hosea chapter 6 and verse 3 and it says this, let us know, let us press on to know the Lord. His going out is sure as the dawn, he will come to us as the showers, as the spring rains that water the earth. I just love that, that he's going to come to us in the showers. We're certainly a country that knows showers. So when you are out in the rain, just remember that God wants to come to us. Let us know. Let us press on to know the Lord. Have a great day. God bless you all.